search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, is a search for intelligent life that's developed on another planet and that has the ability to communicate that presence to us from another planet. Now, in the 1960s, both the Russians and the Americans started to use large radio telescopes to search for any signals that an alien intelligence might be broadcasting. Now, due to the enormous distances involved and the deterioration in strength of any signal over those distances, this required the use of some of the largest antennas then in existence. That was if there was any hope at all of plucking any faint signal out of the background noise of the universe. And the search was initially focused on those stars that were similar in size and age to our own sun and that were closest to our own solar system. Now, by restricting the search to those stars, they were giving themselves what they thought were the best chance of targeting a star which could possibly have intelligent life on it and also the best chance for picking out any signal before it became too faint. Now, even with these limitations, the chance of finding a signal is remote. And the funding and priority for SETI programs has fluctuated over time, as it's been an easy target for budget cuts. And combine this with the high demand for the radio telescopes for looking at other things in the sky, and the very high cost of operating a large radio telescope, even the planned systematic sky sweep on the 500th anniversary of Columbus arriving in the New World was stopped within a year due to funding being pulled for that project. Now, this is an understandable problem with politicians. Funding such programmes is that they have difficulties in seeing the value of spending millions, what even most of the enthusiastic scientists think is far less than a 1% chance of there being intelligent life on each star they check. And even then, even if a signal were to be received, any communication would be virtually impossible and take decades at the very least in between transmitting a message and receiving a reply. However, given all of those limitations, we still do have one ray of hope in the search. And this lies in the so-called WOW signal. In 1977, a few months after the release of the first Star Wars film, the Ohio State University Radio Telescope thought they'd found a signal which had an extraterrestrial origin. It appeared to come from a region of the sky near the constellation Sagittarius, but because a region of the sky was being observed, I'm not sure which particular star it may have actually come from. The most likely candidate is Tau Sagittarius. It's 122 light years away. Because of the rotation of the Earth, each part of the sky was only being scanned for 72 seconds. And the signal lasted the entire 72 second window. The signal was recorded on a computer printout with a series of numbers, each number indicating that the signal received and that time the relative strength of that signal. And the scientist who first discovered the readings wrote WOW on the side of the printout, hence the name the WOW signal. It leads us with a question. Was the signal some form of extraterrestrial intelligence? Now, firstly, an earthbound signal that could have produced the signal was ruled out because there were no transmitters on the Earth that could produce the signal and no natural properties on our Earth that could have created it. That fitted closely to the expected pattern that would be expected in transmission from an alien intelligence. This could be created by a change in energy state of neutral hydrogen atoms. Now also, the twinkling of a star, what is known as the interstellar scintillation, also can be ruled out as a possible source of the signal, since the signal actually was too narrow. It should all point to an alien intelligence being the most likely source of the signal. However, the key test for a scientific investigation is an experiment must be repeatable. And though the area was searched immediately afterwards, and also many times subsequently, and also with far more sensitive equipment, no similar signal has yet been detected again from that source. So, was it a single hello from an alien, or even in a distress call? Some yet understood natural phenomenon? Or an error in equipment? Or a comet, or some other similar object in our own solar system? We just don't know. But we have sent signals to the possible source, 
but it may take 120 years, two years to actually just to reach them, let alone get a reply. If ET is at home, it certainly will be a long distance telephone call.